1992 Mercury 115. Okay. Uh, oil injected. Oh, how heavy is that thing? Would you say that's three, four, five hundred pounds? Yeah, I'd say about three hundred pounds. Three hundred pounds. Big motor sitting on there, on the wood. <laughs> okay, let's get to the uh, stand. So the, so the stand is a uh, testing stand. Uh -huh. And how I built it is I had an extra harness cable, and I uh, so I wired in the the tack, uh, the start, uh, run and choke. I just haven't labeled everything yet. And then trim up and down. Trim for what? Uh, it's basically just to test it. Trim the engine up and down. Oh, okay. Um, basically just to go through everything and make sure everything's uh, working properly. This is your wire. And that's the, the wire that taps into all the mercuries. Okay. So you do all the, mercury motors? Yes, just mercury Are all motors. the plugs the same? Uh, in this generation, they're pretty much the same. Hmm. Uh, actually, they go from pretty much 80 to, to 2,000. So that's kind of why I kept that plug on there. And it's got wheels, so you can wheel it outside to start the motor, eh? Yeah. Give it a push, see what happens. Okay, yeah, I see. Middle of, it's middle of winter here, so you're not starting it inside. No. So if you start it outside now, what kind of water do you use? I would use uh, um, camper antifreeze. Huh. Uh, Can you put a pail under that? Or how yeah, do you do it? Yeah, well, I run it. Uh, yeah, it's exactly what I do. I put a pail under there, and I put use uh, um, a bilge pump to pump the water into the ears. Mm -hmm. and the ears cool down the engine and then it just sprays back into the bucket from the exhaust out of the pump. I've seen ears where they just attach, is that right? Yeah, well they kind of go on like headphones type of thing right behind you there. Oh, <coughs> oh ears are like headphones. There, so it kind of gets onto there. They go on the back thing, just like that. That's good. Start button. Right there. Okay. So how you do it, switch on, which is it is right now, and then power. Okay. But we don't have any fuel connected to it right now. Yeah, and it's not in water. And nice shop. Nice. Yeah, we don't want to smoke it out here. <laughs> okay, that's a nice stand. Now we're gonna now we're gonna get to this other stand here. A stand that can take one, two, three, four motors. Some of them are taken apart and two motors aren't there. Yeah, the two small ones. So it could hold uh, four big motors and one small one. And this one here was in a previous video. That's a big motor because the uh, parts are on the uh, desk. I made it out of uh, my brother's weightlifting equipment. And then the rest of it's just made out of scrap from a fence, a metal steel fence I had. got a little of a bow to it. Is that just normal for the weight? What do you mean bow? Well, it's bowing this way because of the weight. Yeah, probably. Like a, like those. These? Well, I can see it's not straight here. Oh, yeah, it's on a slant. Yeah, that's basically to keep everything straight upright uh, and keep the center of gravity down straight this way. Is that the way it was made? With the bow in it? Not center of gravity or whatever it is. The center uh, uh, no, I made it specifically like that, so because then I, when I do attach my heads on it, yeah. the surface is flat. Oh, okay, so the bow is made that way. Yeah, it's actually made oh, that okay. way. Oh, okay. You see that, eh? Neat. Yeah, the I thought it was down. twisted, but it's not. It's better than propping up all your motors well, against the wall. Well, that's just it. Is having them individually on stands is, just doesn't work, so... Yeah. Uh, it just takes up too much space and it's, uh, it's just not worth it. How do you get the motors on there? It's like a swing arm. I don't have it here right now. So swing it over to pick it off the table, swing it over to put it on there. That small motor you could probably put it on the bench with your hands. Oh yeah. 
Yeah, but this nice. this other one's definitely not. No, everything else we use the lifting knife for. Like uh, we got the specific mer mercury lifting knife. They lift from the top of the engine, uh -huh. and that goes like this. Then it spins up in there. Yeah. And you lift the motor up with that. And lift it up. Neat. And, you got and this is also used as a second tool. It removes the flywheel of uh, a Mercury engine. So how that works is you pull this piece out, this top piece, the bolt for it. Mm -hmm. And you put that in there. Mm -hmm. And you impact this guy. Yeah. And it'll pop the flywheel off. So that's neat. You, you kind of got to have it to, if you want to be a Mercury guy. And it's on your lift uh, kit. Yeah. So I got two of them uh, because they're usually moving around two motors at a time. What's this arm for? <laughs> this is a steering arm. So I just put it in that little hole here. So when I do start the engine, it doesn't kick on me like this. Oh. Okay, yeah. So then I put it in here, and then it doesn't go nowhere when I start it. You thought of everything. <laughs> well, I'm trying to. And then here is my uh, new plate that I'm going to put on here, because uh, this wood was just for a mock-up, and this will be its finish. Uh, so I'll put the holes in there, and then I'll label it properly. <laughs> 